Hello everyone, this is the Royal Clutch 96 key RGB mechanical keyboard. In my video, I'll be unboxing it very quickly so for you to see what's in the box. And then I'm going to talk about the connections. And also, I'll be talking about the build quality. And I'm going to be removing one of the keys so for you to see the mechanism behind the key and how it operates. And I'm going to be showing you also how to set up the lighting on this keyboard. And at the end, I'm going to give you my opinion on what I like and what I don't like in this keyboard. So let's start by unboxing it. So let's open the box. You have a user manual. And this is the keyboard. I chose the blue color keyboard. And while unboxing the keyboard, I wanted to tell you as a full disclosure that Royal Clutch reached out to me to test this keyboard and they sent me this sample free of charge. But the opinions you're going to see in this video are only mine and no one reviewed this video before I published it and I wasn't compensated to produce this video. Let's see what else is in the box. This is a magnetic wrist rest. This is like a sort of plier or tweezers to remove the keys in case you want to change them. This is USB-C, USB-A cable. And these are spare keys. So this is everything you get in the box. Let me talk now about the build quality of this keyboard. The keyboard is really very well made. Everything is put together in a very sturdy way. And the keyboard barely flexes. The keys are tactile. And they don't make too much noise. They have the yellow activator and the activators are pre-looped and it has this nice volume control here, which I appreciate very much. And this is a mute button here. As I said, this is 96 keys keyboard. So it has less keys than other keyboards that are full keyboard. For instance, it doesn't have the home key and it doesn't have other keys. Royal Clouds offers this keyboard in two variations. The first variation is without RGB lighting and it can be get with white color or black color. And the RGB variation, which is this keyboard, it can be purchased with this nice blue color. And they also have another color called Camp Green. Also, the keyboard has this magnetic wrist rest. So you can put it here on the keyboard and it doesn't move anymore. And this is also a very nice touch. You can remove it if you don't need it. And on the back of the keyboard, it has two levers in case you want to raise it. So you have the first one is on the high setting like this. And it has a small one inside. It is on like a lower setting. And it has these anti-step grips, which are very good. Now let me show you how to remove one of the keys so that you see the mechanism behind it. You need the tweezers that come with the keyboard. To remove the key, you need to separate these here like this. And then go like this on the key that you want to remove. And simply just pull it up and it will be removed. And this is the mechanism behind it. It is really a very smooth mechanism. And you can even remove this if you want to change it. So you have to put the tweezers like this on it, press on it, and then also pull up. And this is how it is removed. And it can be easily also replaced like this. Just push it in. And for the key also, it is very easily replaced. Just put it in and push it in. And this is it replaced. So now let me talk about the connections of this keyboard. This keyboard can be connected in three ways to your PC. So you can connect it with the USB-A to USB-C cable in this port here. And in this case, it will act as a USB hub too. And when you connect it with the USB cable to your PC, you have to turn it off. And the second connection method is wireless with a 2.4 GHz dongle. So this is a dongle. You just plug it in any USB port on your PC. And in this method of connection, you need to turn on the keyboard and to make sure that this switch is on G and not on B. And the third connection method is with Bluetooth. So to put it on Bluetooth, you need to turn it on and put it on B like this. And to put it into pairing mode, you need to press function and Q and hold it for three seconds. And you notice that the Q is blinking. So now you can go to your PC and connect to the keyboard. For me, I connect the keyboard always with wireless, the 2.4 gigahertz dongle here. It is the best connection in my opinion. Now I want to show you how to use the lights on this keyboard. So I turned it on and it is in 2.4 gigahertz wireless mode. I didn't connect the dongle yet. The dongle is here. I'm going to connect it in a bit. The first thing I want to show you is how to check the battery level. So you need to press on function and enter. 
and when you press function and enter you have the row of numeric keys here that lights up and it means here that it is 100% so notice the zero is lit up so when it goes down the battery goes down of course it's gonna go 90 80% and so on the second thing I want to show you is how to program some keys for instance to light up in case you have a game that uses some keys that you want them to be lit up always so what I'm gonna do is here I'm gonna program the keys for Fortnite so Fortnite uses mainly W A S D E shift and control keys and this is how you do it so first you need to press function and one two or three and these are the programmable functions so I'm gonna go with one first so function one and here you have like a preset I want to change it so to change it this is what you need to do press function back and then now you select the keys that you want them to light up so I'm gonna select W E A S D and then shift and control so now these keys are lit up and to save the settings you need to press function and back once again and now if you want to go back to these settings for instance if we went to three and you want to go back to one so function one it will go back to these settings now you see the p is lighting up like it is flashing it is because the dongle is not connected so let me connect the dongle and you see that the p will stop flashing and this is it connected so the p stopped flashing so to change the light on the keys press function and print screen and this is you can toggle between the different lighting and when you arrive to a steady lighting you can change the color by pressing function and del so now it is a steady color now you can change the color so let me put it to white for instance when i work at night i like it to be white so that to be able to work without lighting and if you want to reduce the lighting here you press function and the arrow keys like this so to increase or decrease the lighting intensity so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go to my PC and show you the software of this keyboard and then I'm gonna come back and tell you what I like and what I don't like in this keyboard. To install the software, go to rkgamingstore.com and then hover over keyboards, click on 96% and then choose your keyboard, click on software and then click on software again and download and install the software. So here I already downloaded and installed the software and here it is running. And you should know that to manage the keyboard, you need to connect it with the USB-C connection. Otherwise, you cannot manage it, for instance, with a wireless connection. So this is my keyboard detected here. So here you can change the mapping of the keys if you want. For instance, if you want to put the down key and map it to the M key here. So this is it mapping. So if I go to search now and I press on the down key, it will go M. And if you want to just remove it, you right click on it. And then click on default function so let me show you also how to control the lighting so go to the lighting here menu so here i can change whatever i want and notice how it reflects on the keyboard so it's a nice touch to have this software so now let me tell you what i like and what i don't like in this keyboard i like the fact that this keyboard is really very well built and it feels very sturdy and i like the fact that it has this wrist rest here that is magnetic and it really makes using the keyboard very easy. I also like the fact that it has this volume knob. It is really very practical. And this is a mute button also, it is practical. And I like the fact that you can customize it by changing the actuators and changing the keys and all this stuff. And especially I like the fact that it has a USB hub that you can use for instance for your mouse in case you connect it with the USB cable. And I like that it has three connection methods. Now, what I don't like about it is that it doesn't come in black color if you want the RGB lighting on this keyboard. And also, I don't like the fact that the keys are white on light blue and this makes them very hard to see. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to turn off the lights. So you notice that the keys are not backlit. So even though you have the inscription, when the backlight hits the key from the bottom, it doesn't light the inscription on the key. And this is something I really don't like. And if you are in a lit environment, the white inscription is not very visible on the keys. So this is also something that should be reviewed, in my opinion, by Royal Clutch. If you want to check out this keyboard from Royal Clutch, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. In case you did, 
please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i want to thank you all for watching i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech see you in the next video